Burke is different from other places in many different ways. It's unique position here on a beautiful, large, many-acred campus, but it's also a freestanding rehabilitation institute, and that's very unique nowadays. Hey there, I'm Benjamin Seidel, the residency program director here at Burke. As you've seen probably on, on some of the pictures and some of the research you've done, we have a beautiful campus, but it doesn't just end with the physical beauty of the hospital, but also the, the beauty of the people that are, are, are part of it. My name is Daniel Spunberg. My name is Dr. Doan. I'm Safwan Zar. My name is Jesse. I'm Dr. Lawrence Chang. And I'm a resident at Burke. PGY4 at Burke. I graduated just a few months ago. I'm a PGY3 resident here. Also a very happy resident. It's one of the most amazing as like aspects of this program that I really mm -hmm. like. It's that family feel that you get. There's a great like camaraderie. Hi, I'm Toshi Waru, and I'm the academic chief resident here at Burke. Hi, I'm Tiffany Lau. I'm the administrative chief resident at Burke Rehab. What unites our residents here is probably both a combination of the physical closeness of our residents. We have the housing for the residents, and then also a lot of their rotations are very local here at Burke. We've expanded our, our program to now 18 residents. We have two new fellowships. The clinical exposures are wonderful. Really broad depth of education for our residents, and it's valued across the entire county and across the state of New York. Burke is definitely a unique place. The fact that it's a standalone rehabilitation hospital, it definitely lends itself to your academic and growth as a doctor. You have so much autonomy with the patients. You definitely see what the attendings are doing and kind of take on that role just a little bit earlier, which prepares you for the real world. And I wanted to be prepared for anything that I would encounter as an attending, leaving residency. Burke has a, a tremendous patient volume that we get to see here. I really appreciate that we are a multidisciplinary specialty, that we have input from neuropsychologists and, and, and nurses and therapists, and, and that we work in a team approach. Hey, Paula Hutt. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Hey, Flo. I miss Flo. I feel like you and I communicate really well. You know, you literally have my back, so it is a partnership. And then we also not just care about what disease does this patient have, what disease does this patient have, but who are they as a person, and how can they fit in our society, and how can we help them function? That's what physiatry is. It's a combination both of the environment and that close-knit family, but also the expansile uh, academic rigor that, that we've really tried to build. If I was not doing this uh, right now, I would probably be a full-time artist. Interior decorating? My backup plan? I would most likely be an NBA superstar. Was to go to pastry school. Food critic. I actually wanted to be a pop artist. <laughs> so that way I could just eat all day. I kind of do it on the side now, so I don't know if that's cheating, but. I would invariably be a teacher. You get to the hospital and things are crazy, things are beeping, but you come onto Berg's campus and you're like, I'm home. And that's, that's the kind of feel that we want with the residency program.